This video is sponsored by Win Win Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Hall test, current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. It's October 2021, we're in the F-16C and we're looking at three new functions of the HMCS, Helmet Mounted Queuing System, which I'm going to refer to as a HMD as a general term. We're going to look at alignment, the respective DED page and the combined RWR. So first, alignment. Only required if we've done a cold start. First, turn on the HMD there. Next, list through to MISC, M select zero. HMCS, R for recall. Dobber, sequence. We're going to do the course, the azimuth, the elevation, and the roll of the HMD. To do the course, M select. Move your track IR or VR so that the cross matches the cross and press that there. Go. That's about the best I could do. Aligning. Align OK. M select to save the option. Next, azimuth and elevation. M select. Using RDR cursor switch up, down, left and right or the equivalent axes, move the upper cross onto the cross as best you can. When it's there, press M select. Finally, roll. M select. Use the cursor left and right again to roll the lower cross onto the vertical when it's there, M select. That is our HMD aligned, so we're going to dob up return back. Now let's take off and look at the other functions. We're in the air now, the HMD is turned on, and we've got a threat and SA6 off to our 10 o'clock. So let's look further at the options DED page, list, misc, recall. Four things we can change a hard blank, which can be on or off, a cockpit blank can be on or off, declutter level one, two, or three, and our RWR display can be on and off. We can choose which we want to manipulate with Dobber up and down. If the HUD or the cockpit blank are turned on, then you can see they are highlighted with the green in the background. To turn them off, press M select on the relevant line. So for instance, with HUD blank turned off, the HMD symbology does not blank out over the HUD. But I've left the cockpit blank on, so it will blank out over the cockpit. Let me just turn the HUD back on, up, M select. Both blanks are back on. Next, declutter. Select the declutter, levels one, two, and three. I'm gonna use the one button here to step through level one, which is our default, level two, level three. So from level one to level two, we lose the altitude, the steer point information, and the heading tape. If we press it again to level three, we lose the mark, the speed, and the arm status and then back to one. And finally, the RWR display. If we dobber down, currently it's turned on. If we want to turn it off, M select, this guy up here, and then again to turn it back on. This circle here represents us. That's our 12 o'clock position, our six o'clock position, our three o'clock position, our nine o'clock position. It only shows a single priority threat. The diamond shows the azimuth of that threat, kind of off to the 10 o'clock, which of course is the SA6. The syntax in the middle is the type of threat, in this case SA6. And finally, there is a gap in the circle relating to the azimuth of your current head position with the HMD. So over here, in front, to the right, and behind. And that is our summary of the HMD alignment, the various options, and the RWR integration. Hope that was useful and see you later.